is Tony Gar. Welcome, Tony. Well, thank you very much. I'm, I'm proud to be here. Thank you. And you are with Tennessee Healthcare Campaign? Yes, and I have been for the last 21 years. So. Wonderful. We're going to talk more about that in a minute, but I want you to know that the title of this show is Healthcare Reform in Good is good for Tennessee. So you right. want to know all about that. And I want to introduce now to us um, my co-host, Ron Jasmine. Welcome, Ron. Hello. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. <laughs> thank you for inviting me. Well, thank you for coming out, and both of you for coming out. And we're, we're going to expound on Tennessee health care reform, mm -hmm. because we need to know exactly where this is going. So, no, we're, we're going to try to help people understand and help the Tennesseans understand that health care reform is going to be good for everyone, not just people who, who they hear about it being expanding for, but just for everyone. And so, it'll be fun as we talk about that and put all those pieces together. Wonderful, because that is. Um, our main concern right now mm -hmm. is where is our health care system going and how are we going to get the health care we need. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, we're excited that you're here and that you're going to expound on this for us. Uh, tell us a little bit more about who you are and how you uh, came in to be an executive director mm -hmm. of this uh, nonprofit well, organization. We, we started actually as a uh, loose federation of, of nonprofits in, in Middle Tennessee about 22 years ago. And we got together and we talked about what we needed to do in Tennessee to expand coverage. Um, and we actually, from there, we decided to form a uh, not for profit. And then we sought grants and things of that nature and got funding. Mm -hmm. And our principal funder is actually the Public Welfare Foundation out of Washington, D.C. Oh, so we receive okay. funding from different foundations across the country. Wonderful. <laughs> well, Ron, tell us who you are. You're with Metropolitan? Yes, ma'am. Um, Ron Jasmine, Metropolitan Services Website Design, where we specialize in marketing, uh, logo creation, website design. But I'm very interested in this topic today. Healthcare, you know, is such a big issue, and it was, it's a very big issue, and it was such a big issue during the campaign, the mm -hmm. presidential campaign. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we need some things done. And, but I know it's a lot of myths out there um, concerning this uh, plan, I yeah. call it that. Yeah. Um, but I guess uh, Tennessee Health Campaign, your nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, you're the executive director, yeah. mm -hmm. so y'all research and study the different things. We do. We we actually every morning, probably for about two hours, I spend time on the Kaiser Family Foundation. <laughs> I look at different news reports from the New York Times, the Washington Post. Uh, we try to stay in breast, uh, abreast as far as all that's happening. We're probably on on a conference call twice a week with some other national group in regards to what's happening, strategies, and things of that nature. So we're pretty much involved with it. This is the only thing we do every day, uh, 365 days of the year. And uh, as you were talking, it made me think that you, are you a small employer? Yes, I am. Okay, well, I mean, one of the uh, groups of folks that will be most helped by healthcare reform is a small employer. Because a small employer is the entity or a group of people that have the most difficult time finding affordable and good health insurance for the owners of these small companies as well as the employees. So Absolutely. Uh, health re healthcare reform is coming right down your alley. <laughs> well, you along <laughs> with so yeah. much uh, more that you have to share with us. Well, I am excited to hear about um, where we're going 
in Tennessee with this reform? Well, think about this. There are six million Tennesseans, so that's Whoa. six million. In fact, I, the, way, the reason I can remember that is we actually went across the six million mark in 2006. Okay. which is the same year our country passed the 300 million mark. So mm -hmm. in 2006, our country, uh, we had more than 300 million people. In Tennessee, we had basically 6 million people, and we just crossed that mark. So, so you think about those 6 million people, and then what I tried to do is try to draw a picture for Tennesseans so they can sort of see where they fit in. Uh, and earlier, before we went on the air, we were talking about people who have Medicare. And Medicare is for people who are disabled or over the age of 65. Right. Uh, it's really funny, uh, people uh, can't wait till they turn 65 because when they turn 65, they're guaranteed coverage. No one can take it away from them. They have health insurance. For, and maybe this is the first time they have health have, have had health insurance uh, for a while. Mm -hmm. So. A lot of additional benefits are going to come for people in Medicare. Um, that's gonna... good, and I'm glad you're talking about that because that's also a great concern. Mm -hmm. People, there have been talk about uh, them doing away with Medicare, oh, and it is yeah. really frightening people. Oh, so it, we, yeah. would you just give us a we, little bit I mean, more you're, input You're on exactly that. right. Uh, I talk with people who are very frightened about mm -hmm. this. But once you sit down and they realize that, you know, there are actually some new services that are, that are going to be added. Uh, there are some preventive health services that before had either a deductible or a co-payment. Uh, many preventive health services are now going to be free. All the vaccinations. Did you hear that, Nashville? <laughs> <laughs> you really do. Yes. Across the board. Yeah. To the small businesses, to the um, people that are on Medicare, Medicaid. To all to of the individuals, mm -hmm. to everyone out there, Obama more jobs, and more financing from the government mm -hmm. yes. for Tennessee. Yes. yes, our legislatures and you know everybody out there that has been fighting for this. Yeah. Pre-existing conditions can't get anything done. And this it's is finally it's, happening. It's a revolution almost. Right, it's, and you, it's you finally think about the happening. Changes, it's, yes, it's, it's, it's significant. Uh, Going to uh -huh. make people live longer. Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> wonderful. I mean, it goes we all need yes. that, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, but not only live longer, but live healthier Better. so yeah. that we can enjoy the lives as we live longer. Yeah. Because so many people live to be a certain age, but they're not healthy, mm -hmm. so they don't enjoy their right. life. Yeah, but I difference. hear that we're going to have that preventive measures in place so that we'll not only live longer, but we'll be healthier. Yeah. A simple way to look at it. Health